am on the way to the Butterfly Valley <laughs> and these boats are super cool so I will take one of these boats to get to the Butterfly, butterfly Valley it's kind of like a hard place to get in you can't really drive or I think you can hike to there but it's quite uh, hard so that's why only access the main access is by boat so that's what I'm gonna do take the boat to get there and spend few hours there uh, it's super magical place I have seen in the pictures and I just wanted to take the chance being here and visit this place as well so let's do it So obviously we cannot go with these tours, they are taking uh, us to many places actually, not only one, but I just want to go to Butterfly Valley because I have already done a boat tour in Kash and I'm kind of burned so I don't want to be in the boat and as a 6-7 hours. So just to Butterfly Valley and then back to this land. Nerede teknemiz? Şuna bak mavi tekne var ya. Mavi tekne. Ha, mavi tamam. tekne. Kelebekler çatın bakıyorsun. Küçük olan tamam. Ha. Görüşürüz. Aynen aynen. Bulurum. So these are smaller boats. Will take us to there. Evet biletim var. Teşekkürler. And the water is somehow different here, different color. just arrived to Butterfly Valley it's so amazing here, so different like you have this big mountains or cliffs around and here this beautiful beach so I will go to sea swim for a while and then we can continue to explore the back side of this valley see where they are maybe we see some butterflies I'm not sure maybe it's not really the season for butterflies that's what I read in September or in this time zone there are more butterflies you can find and that's why it's called butterfly valley yeah and I think the name is also sweet to the place it's beautiful here the water was super good but only problem is that there are lots of big rocks and it's super slippery 
so I didn't feel comfortable being there I didn't want to break anything so make sure when you come here have you have very nice shoes like swimming shoes so you can be comfortable and you can swim well so actually one of my um, roommates from the hostel he broke his knee here like a few days before I arrived to the hostel so they had to stay here for a week or more just because of this like stupid act and they just broke their knee and they had to stay in this place maybe 10 days to recover and then that then they arrived to the hostel where I'm staying okay so I will further explore what's there maybe there's something to drink or eat let's find it out and this place is super famous for camping as well uh, so in case you have your own tent and everything that's the place to come and stay for overnight or maybe more days even this is the camping areas you can see it it's a nice place to camp in so I paid uh, 8 liras to get into this place uh, so it's kind of like private zone or paid zone so 8 liras hmm. it's not it's not bad I think I mentioned there's a so you follow the canyon and then you get to the waterfall that's gonna be exciting but this place is magical really look at this we are just surrounded by this huge mountains obviously end of it like behind me goes to the beach and then the front side following going to the um, waterfall and there's this doggy <laughs> he's keeping my company to find the waterfall and the canyon it should be super hot for him I think as I mentioned before it's really depends on the season if you are able to see the butterflies here I heard it's like September or maybe May it's a good time to see a lot of them around here I also read the reviews and people were quite disappointed because they haven't seen any butterflies during their visit so it really depends on the time and the months of the year and we can also mention about how did I get here actually so I was staying in Fethiye but in order to get to Butterfly Valley there's only one way um, there's probably more ways but the best way to get here is by boat it's the easiest way but there's also option I think hiking or by drive but I heard it's super dangerous you can imagine this huge rocks and mountains probably you need to be climber to get here successfully so easiest way is the by boat and you don't have to buy a whole tour because tours are going to different um, areas and stopping by and like seven six hours but the one shuttle I took um, it has multiple hours so departure from the early Denis beach and coming to directly here and also they take us back for 50 liras so I have maybe one hour to get back to the beach and take the, the boat back to early Denis beach it's not only at 1 p.m. but later on I think they mentioned 4 p.m. 5 p.m. 6 p.m. so they will be departing from here back to early Denis beach uh, but I think I will go at 1 p.m. because I have more places to see and I have only a few days here and tomorrow I'm doing actually paragliding oh, I'm super excited nervous scared at the same time so we'll see how that goes tomorrow morning 
so I have pickup organized for tomorrow. I will see how I feel tomorrow. I will make sure that I record that as well, the whole process. And for that one, you can check out my other videos. Okay, we are kind of stuck here. Okay. I guess this is the end. Not more to go. Now challenge is to go back, but I have my shoes on, should be easier, never come here with flip-flops, definitely. I think you shouldn't have high expectations for the waterfall. I was imagining ah, if there's so much water I can get under the water, take a swim maybe and get, on to, get under the waterfall with the camera and stuff just to have a nice cool shot but <laughs> there wasn't even enough water for me so maybe during the season when it's winter or rainy time you might have very nice experience, but I think it would be very hard also to get into here. Anyway, it was nice. I mean, we paid 8 liras, so I had to get until the end to see what's on the top. Okay, now I'm heading back to the boat and we'll decide on the way what's next. Uh, I will get back to Lidenis beach and there is nice uh, small beach like sand beach there i would like to spend some time there and then heading back to the city for more historical places so see you there guys